Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. This is actually my second vlog. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you and show you what I'm doing for school. I was tasked to make a video about finding the national artist and one of his works and find the contemporary artwork. For those who don't know, contemporary artwork can either be a photography, painting, performance art, as long as it is still, still produced till this day. Let's not prolong this and any longer and let's go straight to the vlog. Let's go! I actually already find my chosen national artist and one of his artwork and also I have chosen my own contemporary artist and his artwork. And here my friends, here is my chosen national artist. His name is Fernando Armosolo. I'm pretty sure you all are familiar with him, as you must have heard him when you were on your younger grade. And here is his artwork. For those who don't seem to be familiar with him, let me explain first. Fernando Amor Solo. Fernando Amor Solo is the first contemporary artist. He has painted ten thousands of pieces over his lifetime. Most of his artwork is done through painting and sketching, but most of his works are landscape of his Filipino homeland portraits and its World War II war scenes. Alright, now you have heard of him. Let us now go to my chosen contemporary artwork. So then again, my, cho my chosen contemporary artwork is photography because I just find photography more pleasing and aesthetic compared to painting and sketching. And it also and also find it more realistic and it is surreal compared to the painting and sketching. My chosen photographer is George Tapan. Just a short intro about him. He worked for the Department of Tourism and Philippine Airlines, and he already published five double photography books. He used his photography talents to promote the tourism in the Philippines. Now that my job is done, this is where our video ends, and I went back to sleep. Bye guys! Joke! I actually take a short nap and I w and I wake up and open the laptop and I went back to work. So here are one of his artworks. I was told to choose only one, but his photographs are way too good that I couldn't even choose one until I found this one. Ain't it beautiful my friends? Mr. Tapan called it the, Kak the Kagsawa Ruins. I was tasked to make an analysis using Feldman method, which that includes description, analysis, interpretation, and judgment. So here are my description. Here, we can see the Lagang Filipina wearing traditional outfit taking a photography, standing behind the iconic Mayon volcano and the ruins of the Kagsawa Church. So, so let's go to the analysis. So in here, the photographer or Mr. Tapan, he used a high-end camera and modified his camera setting, especially, especially the color, making it black and white, to bring the year late 1800s to the present time, to make the present time meeting the past time, in which the Dalaga and her background makes it more a stunning photo, in which they became the center point of interest. Now, for me, now let's go to the interpretation. So for, so for the photographer or Mr. Tapan, he wanted to promote the beauty of the Philippine landscape and also its people and culture to the world. And as for me, in my opinion, the art is very beautiful and I must say it's one of a kind. Not only that it's basically perfect, one photo seems to be enough to become a candidate to the best picture of this century. It also promotes the beauty of our nation. And that, my friends, we should also promote the beauty of our nation, just like what our leader said. This nation can be and will be great again. Yun lang, tapos na.